from these two Welsh wizards. Matthew Stevens led 13-7. It was a commanding lead. Another couple of frames and it would have been an impregnable lead. But Mark Williams showed amazing resilience to recover, to win by... ...to get another shot. No mistake on what was effectively match ball that time. John Higgins was in first in this play with 45. But Ronnie O'Sullivan cleared... And Mark Williams, uh, the most relaxed man in the Crucible Theatre, or so it seems, but inside, okay. he will be absolutely delighted. 77. When Williams led 10-2, it seemed as if he might even win with a session to spare. Oh, <laughs> the blue finishes oh, on the floor, but that doesn't matter. Mark Williams clinches the title with a break of 77. Bah voilà, tranquille. Vous voyez, là, on va le retrouver comme il fait à l'entraînement. C'est déjà qu'il est impressionnant avec la pression et toutes les difficultés, mais à l'entraînement, il doit être. Ah, vous savez mon goût pour les statistiques, il y a eu une défaite 18-3, une autre 18-6, pardon, et entre les deux, une défaite 18-5. C'est la quatrième plus sévère défaite depuis 1977. Mais euh, Dot, c'était quoi sa première finale, je crois Lui aussi a le temps de... Unbelievably well. And he was favoured to take this final. Well done, Matthew. But Sean has been unbelievable this evening. Thank you. 83. Sean's fiancé and Sean's father, Tony, exchange a celebratory hug. Oh. Because Sean Murphy has beaten... Matthew Stevens by 18 frames. Automatically be on pink or black. <laughs> it was close. And he'd have been on the go. Oh, he's left it over the jaws of the pocket. He's played for the black. Does he miss the black and get on the pink? He flicks the black. What? He's on it perfectly. Wow, incredible. Peter Ebden won 
the next six and emerge the other side. 13. Well, he's withstood enormous pressure. 17. Peter Ebden made a great fight of it. Graham Dolph, 17. But in the end, Dolph has dashed Ebden's hopes. A marvellous final session. title. He has been there, you would have to say, John Higgins was the most consistent. 78. Very, very difficult. Left handed, made to look very simple. 15. <laughs> Quick look at the scoreboard 21. 39 in front. Just needs the blue. 22. And he has been so consistent throughout the last 17 days. This Crucible crowd would have loved to have seen this final continue and Ali Carter to have won a couple of frames. But Ronnie O'Sullivan, he has been the master. I think Ali Carter will come forward. He claps his hands and congratulates Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan really Needs the black though off the last red if that's going to be the case. I think the way he's played. On the two previous occasions he played, I think one year he smashed the record for the amount of centuries made at the Crucible. He's played as good this week. Oh. Well, what a shame, no century, but for the third time as the crowd given the standing ovation John Higgins is the Betfred.com world champion Sean Murphy shakes his hand congratulates him and it's a big massive well he, he forced a, a lovely smile there he Neil Robertson he knows that he's won this year's world championship <laughs> She flew at the last minute from Melbourne to see her son. She said that if he ever got to the final, she promised she'd be there. And he's not let me down. It's been hard graft. It's been a war of attrition. But the Australian now is just putting the finishing touches to a great tournament. And as I say, every credit to Graham Dot. He's put up a fantastic show here. But, well, it's hard to describe how Neil Roberts is feeling at this moment. Words can't describe it, John. Yes, unbelievable. It's what every player dreams of. Graham Dot has come back. He's now the player he was. Fair play. But take nothing away from Neil Robertson here. There'll be a lot of emotion coming out of him. And the pockets now are looking like dustbin lids. Chance, but one six-point snooker to be able to win. John Higgins, 14, got the snooker. Yeah. Oh, but he has missed it. Well, would you believe it? And he's going to be put back in again. John will make. Is he taking the double? He is. Yeah. He's taking the double. I just said. It's not in any frame. So does John Higgins. It's that one.
man put up a great show, but he wasn't quite good enough 54. to compete against the most naturally gifted player <laughs> the game has seen. He gave a little kiss up to Ronnie Jr. there. There's no better feeling in the world than uh, walking around the table when you know 61. you've won the world championship.